One, two, three, four. about today's wine Wednesday is that this is a very old wine I mean to wine standards right this is a 2005 Merlot from Italy uh, it's called Marema Toscana so it sounds like a tos Tuscany red Merlot mm -hmm. right and, the, and the, 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 the interesting thing about this wine is my sister-in-law who is a retired Navy veteran and Brent is also a retired Navy veteran, right? I'm a veteran, but I didn't retire. Oh, okay. So he's a veteran. Well, my sister-in-law, she's a retired Navy veteran. Veteran. Nonetheless, when we opened Cueva Bar almost nine years ago, Brandy. Nine years. Nine years ago. She had been to Italy, I think, uh, a year before we opened Cueva Bar, or two years before we opened Cueva Bar. Something like that. I can't exactly remember. So she sent a whole shipment of wine, man. She, she imported as much wine as any Navy personnel can import, right? Legally. Legally, of course. Sometimes you bend the rules. But what happened is the Navy held these wines for longer than what would have been... Uh, like in con quarantine. Yes, yes, or yes. Or impound. Impound, yeah. yeah. So those the, customs guys. Those customs guys. But these were like Navy customs, right? Oh, right, right. So these were Navy customs held the wine longer than what they should have, right? And so by the time my sister-in-law, uh, shout out to my sister-in-law if you're watching, um, by the time she got her hands on this wine, apparently it was too old to drink. Apparently. All right? Now, Art has passed its prime, huh? Apparently. However... Plus, you know, where was it stored? In a ship? In a ship or a container? Warehouse, you know, a container out in the hot sun? You know, tell me what that wine went through. Who knows? No, that's t is this it? it? This is one of them. Right. Oh, we have a lot of them. So we're going to be on a, on a fun journey, opening wines that might be good, but they might not. Let's give it a shot, man. Let's give it a shot. So a glass for Randy, a glass for me. Brandy. Oh, look at that color. Now, the color is looking funky. I can already tell. Oh, it's a little cloudy. Right? Yeah, it's a little cloudy. I can actually smell it. Uh, I smell the aroma from, from I'm sitting down. The wind is blowing at hey, us. Hey, I mean, oh. questionable, but it's definitely not, a, it's not cork. So that's a good sign, right? No bacteria that we that we can yeah, tell. Yeah, no, no. The smell is, the smell is um, you know, sometimes the smell is... It doesn't smell right. right? It, smells, it smells a little off. I, I think it's a little off. I hope you didn't buy a whole so let's switch 12 up. cases of this. Oh, no, man. She's got a <laughs> we lot of wine. It, yeah, we're already putting it. L let's switch we're up a little, a little bit. You talk about your tasting of the wine. Oh, right. And I play a little music in the back. All right. All right. Here we go. Well, uh, enough of this chatter. Shall we try tasting it? Try it. All right. Tell me about it. Mm. Well, it's got an interesting nose. It does. Mm. A little bit of racing at the end. Oh, yeah. But very, not enough to very, tell that it's really very, bad. Very ar aromatic. Uh, let's give it a shot. Does that sound like Tuscany to you? That sounds very nice. Oh, that sounds good. Tastes good. Wow. That's really a... Uh, oh, that's a really robust wine. It's a uh, Merlot from Italy. Aged who knows where in the bottle. It's 
not rich dark red like a cab or one of those old wines. It has a nice reddish brown color to it. The color of the earth, you know. I think it's really good. I think I think given a few minutes this wine is gonna open up into be something really nice. Second sip will tell. Oh yes. It's not bad. Interesting, I wonder what I would pair this with. Hmm. This would probably this would probably go really well with one of your special you could probably design a special taco right around this wine. I think maybe something with a little pork. A little pork, a little little pork and some pickled onions. Yeah, it has an interesting the first introductory taste. Uh, got it is robust way. to be a 2005. I thought it would be a lot smoother. Oh, it doesn't taste that. It's not, it's not smooth. It's a little on the sharp side. It is, right? Yeah. But, so, I mean, it's not but bad. The, but the after flavor. Yeah. The after flavor, I got to tell you, I'm enjoying it very much. Well, <laughs> well no. You know, who's, 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 okay. you, you we're know. going to have to try this again before we smoke pot. But, you know, I got to tell you. It's but we can uh, tell it's good. Yeah, it's not a bad Yeah, thing. yeah. You know, Tasting one well, high. It's was, not bad. You know, it's it's got you know, I don't know what the price point is, but I'm sure it's going to, it must be priced affordably because it's definitely not... It's definitely not, it doesn't rank up there with the high ones. I'd give this on a, a, a 89, 90, 89 or 90 points. Mostly because I think it's, um, I do believe that we'll open up. Well, let's leave it there. I do believe it'll open up and play another song. Let's play, man. Why don't you pick up your, um, if you're in for it, why don't you play a little harmonica? Yes, <laughs> and that's how you end up one Wednesday tasting with Randy on a really good note. Ain't that right, friend? Ain't that right. Hell yeah. That right. Stick around for the next show coming next week and the week after, as long as we can make it happen, right? I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> so it's up to me. It's always I'm coming up guy, to me. You I'm know? not the guy who's running a restaurant, writing a book. Appearing on television shows, raising a family, and All kinds running of a yoga class. <laughs> trying to find spare time. Yes, trying to That's find... That's not me. That's him. That's me. But there's a way to... It's a lifestyle, people. Obviously, he's retired. I'm working. But it's a way to keep it light yeah. and good and happy. Regardless if I'm smoking weed. You know I'm saying this without hey, smoking weed. I have to tell you, folks, we, we, we totally bullshitted you. This was parsley. It's parsley. <laughs> <laughs> we don't smoke pot. Now you'll never know. We don't smoke pot. Now you'll never know. So anyway, thank you for tuning in. Uh, you cannot find this wine anywhere. <laughs> so this is oh, yours. Oh, except maybe a club bar. Well, no, no, really. No, this is the only bottle. Oh, it's the... I didn't know. We, well, shoot. Let's this finish. is unique as hell, we're, people. We're going to cut this off and finish this wine. You got it. Thank you. See you next time.